Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17 and 18. And he reads, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I repeat, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. And behold, all things have become new. Now, I want to divide the scripture into three parts. And the first part says, therefore, now, therefore, is a word to look at, look out for in the Bible. Therefore means as a result of the preceding verses, as a result of the preceding statements. Therefore, that is equal to, that is a summation of the um, several paragraphs or um uh, a, uh, uh, a few uh, subsequent verses. So it says, that, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Now, anyone is everyone, and anyone that becomes a believer that has converted. From whatever religion they are in into becoming a Christian into becoming a follower of Christ so when you become a believer you are referred to as a born-again Christian somebody who has changed their Lordship from the Lordship of the world to the Lordship of Jesus Christ somebody who has changed um, under whose auspices they operate somebody who has um, channeled based on the free will of god has channeled his spirit has given his spirit to the lordship of the person of god has given his soul to the lordship of the person of god and most importantly given his body which is the flesh which is the most important bit in in terms of um putting us our flesh under subjection to the person of christ so he said if anyone is in Christ does anyone is in Christ so whether you are in Christ um, 20 years ago whether you're in Christ 10 years ago whether you're in Christ last week or whether you're in Christ yesterday if anyone is in Christ he is a new creation now another key word here is new creation new is we know what spanking brand new is um, creation that is creation now when we speak of creation we speak of the person um, of whose image we were created in so when we speak of cre new creation the word new and creation just gives um, this um, whole thing a different turn in totality so it says, it says new creation new creation speaks about the newness of our spirit the newness of our soul which transcends gradually into um, us manifesting it in the physical so um, first and foremost when we are in Christ if we're um, newly converts of Christ we tend to um, begin to follow after the doctrines after the statutes and the precepts of Christ we tend to follow after the um, the teachings and uh, and all the instructions which Christ gave us and based on that we're able to um, continue to um, um, lead his he lead after the teachings of the word then most importantly is reading the word 
most importantly also is meditating on the word so when we read the word the word goes into our spirit as as um as um sweet corn as um avocado pear as um a burger as a fruit as all foods are the the um for the nourishment of the body and helps the body grow and helps the body stay healthy and helps the body stay alive so also the the food of the spirit man the food of the spirit and the soul is the word of god so when we take in the word of god the word of god which we see with our, our window the window of the eyes goes into our eyes and goes into our spirit and begin to energize our spirit begin to strengthen our spirit begin to um um, help us as a revelation if if we take in the word of God uh, we set in volume we take in and we, we're able to manifest the revelation power of God which helps us to understand the scriptures on a very deeper level we're able to understand the scriptures in every level we love to understand the scripture it helps us to continue to um, um, transform our inner man which was once worldly so our inner man is constantly and gradually changing our inner man is constantly and gradually transforming into the perfectionism the perfect nature of the person of god so when we begin to take in the the the, the bible every day we're taking in the word of god and we're taking in um, the word of god which is the food of the spirit so when we take in the word of god the word of god helps us as i said earlier it gives us a revelation on knowledge on the word it's the word of god is like an illumination of our of our spirit illumination of the word of god in sync with our spirit which tends towards the brightening of our future in Christ because everybody has a different kind of future in Christ everybody everybody's um, future is not the same everybody's purpose for coming to the face of the earth is not the same so when we continue to follow after um, read the word sorry we can you follow after God and read the word we're going to meditate most of all on it there is a sort of illumination of the the word of god as a light which is in sync with our spirit when this um, in syncness with our spirit helps us to be able to know what to do help us to be able to know what the next step we in in our full worship with christ helps us to be able to take us from one level to another where we are able to understand um, more who of whom God is and we're able to walk accordingly and precisely on point of the on on the path of our purpose so that at the end of the day we are in the course of fulfillment of our God-given destiny so he says he's a new creation so once we become a new creation we are walking on the path of god so there is the newness of the spirit there's the newness of the of the body there's a newness of the soul there's a newness and a different ways and a different perspective which we um, tend to look at life especially if we fellowship with the brethren especially if we continue to listen to the word of god which is the bolster of our faith which helps us to bolster our faith which helps us to be rock solid in god when we listen to the word of god when we meditate on the word of god we read the bible and we follow after the precepts and the statutes of god then we are moving from a foundation which paraventure was a sand or a swamp we're moving to a rock solid foundation where we can stand tall if you stand on a rock we are you're rest assured that except a bomb blast the rock you are rock solid you are you are confident and christ is indeed a rock so when we stand on this rock we are a new creation when we um, follow after god 
and we constantly renew our mind and God constantly justifies us. The Bible says that just shall live by faith. So when Christ constantly justifies us, when Christ constantly endorses our spirit, endorses our endeavors in Christ, then we are considered as a new creation at every point in time. It says now all things, and he said all things have passed away. All things has passed away. Now what that means is um, we have shed is like um, a, a reptile that sheds his skin or it's like the tree that sheds his back. Even human beings shed their skin. So when you shed your skin, you leave it behind. So all things are passed away. Here he speaks about spiritual things. He speaks about physical things. So our physical worldliness, our worldliness state has passed away as worldliness state has moved to our past. So all things have passed away. It also means our sins have been forgiven. It means that all the things that the enemy used to hold us, um, to ransom it, has been forgiven. It said all things have passed away and all things have become new. There is a newness in our spirit. There is a newness in our horizon. There is a newness in our perspective. There is a newness in the way which we view things in life. There is a newness in our eye, in our mind's eye, in our spirit eye, in our physical eye. There is a newness in everything. And therefore, our old, our old man is passed away. Our old man speaks of our spirit man speaks of our body spirit and soul so the body spirit and soul is passed away because uh, everything has become new there is a new way we view view life there is a new way of doing things there's a new way of uh, behaving there's a new domain or there is a new endeavor there is a new way of doing everything that concerns us as the children of God and therefore all things have passed away and he says all things have become new now this is what i speak of with this is what i speak of the newness this is what i speak of the 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 um, fact that our horizon has changed this is what i speak of as perspective and our ways of our overview and our ways of looking at things have become new our ways of um, perceiving the things of the world have become new and therefore our ways of perceiving also the things of god has um, has also become new. So we're looking at God and we are following after God this time. And our target and our main aim is towards the fulfillment of our God given destiny, towards the fulfillment of our purpose, towards the fulfillment of that thing where we came to the earth to do. We did not come to the world and uh, we did not drop as a coconut. Even coconuts have a purpose. The water of coconut is very um, nutritious. The back and the, and the body, the brown and the white um, skin body is used for various um, purposes. So we, we, um, even a coconut have purpose, talk less of human beings. So the, when, when, uh, when the word of God begins to illuminate our heart, begins to show us the direct it begins to show us the direction in the path with a walk with God towards the fulfillment of our God giving this and that is God's priority in our lives. Now I want to pray that God is able to expand our minds on this word that God is able to give us more revelation or knowledge on this word as we walk with him and run with him God gives us the grace to continually follow after him God gives us the grace to continually walk with him God gives us the grace to continually um, gives us the grace to continually walk steadfast with him to, the grace to continue to build our faith the grace to build our hope in Christ the grace to build everything that and including our spiritual giftings which we need to operate in our offices to be towards the fulfillment of our God given destiny. God gives us the grace for everything that concerns God, 
concerns us in Christ. All you ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I thank you so much for listening. God bless. God bless in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.